welcome you back inside North Rock Lanes for the finals of the 2008 PBA World Championship. Norm Duke looking to become the first bowler in PBA history to win three straight majors. Rob Stone, Randy Peterson, glad you're spending part of your Sunday afternoon with us. Norm Duke, the defending champion, the last player to successfully defend the PBA World Championship was the great Earl Anthony, who accomplished it in 1983. He actually did it, he actually won it three times in a row, twice. 73, 74, and 75, 81, 82, and 83. Leaves the 10. Really struggled in the beginning of his semifinal round, getting his first strike in the fifth. Yeah, but look at this. He's moved some 20 boards to the right. He struck out in the 10th frame of the last match to win and makes this gigantic move against Norm Duke. We're going to have to wait and see and watch how this plays out for, for Chris Barnes. A very interesting. Very daring move, in my opinion. I think he's taking Norm Duke on, on Norm Duke's turf. He's playing the outside part of the lane where Norm's playing. That's Norm's turf. He had the whole inside part of the lane to himself. And the goal of that is to eat up that part of the oil? I, I think, I, I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's Chris Barnes trying to beat Norm at his own game, or if Chris feels that by playing there, you know, Norm's shot may get uh, kind of fishy or maybe go away after, uh, you know, a few shots. But why would you play out there unless you had a good look to get to the pocket? Obviously, Barnes feels he has a good look to the pocket. We know, or at least we anticipate, Norm Duke will have a good look at the pocket. So Norm starts with a strike. The effects of Chris's alteration to his attack may not be seen yet for another couple frames. not bothering Norm one bit. Again, Duke rolled through Sean Rash, 236, 215 in semifinal number one. It was having some problems with the four pin and got that figured out. Here's Barnes. Looking for his third major. Oh boy. That one never hooked in and missed the pocket. <laughs> You know, I don't like Missed to second guess these players out here because they're the greatest in the world, but I'm, I've got to question this move and this moving to the outside part of the lane when it looked like he was getting dialed in in the middle part of the lane. This is where he played the last match. Tenth frame, look at that. That was the, the shot that locked up the match. Let's go to one, two, four. You know, the only thing that I can come up with, Rob, is that he felt playing that inside line that whatever he could bowl from in there wouldn't be good enough to beat Norm. Duke has been strike, strike. Barnes has been spare, spare. Bowler of the Year in 1992 for Wichita State. Leaves himself with another challenge. Sensitive area of the lane out there, and Norm Duke just proves with every shot that he throws why he's so great. That shot there by Chris Barnes, just a fraction off, pays the maximum penalty, leaving the 4-9 pocket split. This is everything. Now, he bowled a lot here in his college days. This was kind of his home center, and he told us, you know, it probably helped him get through qualifying with all those slow starts. You know, he, he surprised himself by how many pairs he remembered from his college days, but this is a start to, to not remember for Chris Barnes. Spare, spare, open frame at 43. Here's Duke looking for three straight strikes to start it off. Got it. 
Look at the expression on Norm's face, the reaction from that strike. This is what, in my opinion, makes him one of the greatest ever mentally. He just took advantage of an open frame given by his opponent with another strike to make it three in a row. And Norm treated it like it was nothing. Starting to pull away. The lead is at 37 after three. We begin the fourth. Wichita. Duke putting a world of hurt on Barnes. The conclusion of the 2008 PBA World Championship winner return. Duke closing in on three straight majors.